Okay, a little bit off topic here. So, I told you guys I play World of Tanks, and this is the most toxic game because that company is, in my opinion and my experience, crooked. They're lying and deceiving people. They're rigging games. Um, they come with all kind of lame excuses, uh, like random. You know, if that would be random, I would win three times a month in lottery every week every three weeks in a row I would win in lottery and the fourth week I might not um, the evidence what kind of evidence here so uh, since yesterday no since today I have the T110 E4 which is an American tank destroyer tier 10 and I played it 14 times I lost 12 games in a row all of it and I lost around 350,000 credits. Here, oh, here I was issued a warning. Look at this. So this is what they are actually trying to do. I mean, look at this, yeah? Oh, who are they? My mom? Who oh, got the heck out of my, my screen? You stupid wargaming people. I mean, acknowledge. Uh, they're disgusting. So I'll show you what I, I mean, what I did now. And then what I will continue is I put my premium tanks in. And when it's rigged, then I press Alt and F4, and it is, oh, we won, okay. That's a 10% chance that I'm wrong. I tested that. So, if I say a game is rigged, usually you can say, I mean, here I went out earlier because I just was fed up already. Um, i show you what I have here, with the T, T10 E4, and here are the statistics. So I played 14 games, and had 14.29, uh, victories. So uh, let's get my calculator out. 14 multiplied by point, uh, let's be generous, 0.5, right? So 2.1 games, so two games, right? That's what I want. Two games of 14. And if you go on a forum and tell them what they're doing, you get banned. Uh, by the way, I am banned, but not the first time, I don't know. If I would get for band a letter size paper, I could uh, wallpaper my house with their warnings. And uh, this is a swear, fr swear free channel, so <laughs> I, I cannot really tell you what they can do to me or what I what, what I, I care about it. I really don't care at all. Um, if they want to get rid of me, they could just refund my premium tanks. But you know, like I liked in the Roman Empire when people were too greedy they actually poured liquid gold in the throat of these people and I mean I would think these people from Wargaming qualify for that so it might sound a little bit harsh but it's really not because if you see on how many players they lied deceived and still lie and still deceive and trick them and there's every day is here oh buy this oh buy this oh this is a one-time opportunity every day it's a one-time opportunity and it returns because they they are so greedy they have changed so much i'm so disgusted and if i wouldn't have uh, invested in some premium tanks i would actually not be bothered you know i had rage rage quit that game i think for for one and a half year and i mean i started when they started they were listening to the player base i mean there were different kind of people there right what they have now is what happens in almost every company you have huge elbows fighters which have a big mouth and no performance or skills and they push the capable people out because with a big mouth it sounds nice maybe they uh, carry the briefcase from the boss to from his car to the desk and maybe to the bedroom too i have no idea but they crawl up and <laughs> it happens all over the place incompetent is in full swing and they get in positions you know, I mean, I learned in my job education, you can be promoted to incompetence, but they're not promoted to incompetence. They have been incompetent from the beginning, right? So you see, I'm a little bit aggravated about it. I mean, especially go watch that screen. What do they think they are, my mom, that they can give me a warning? <laughs> uh, I wish I could organize some lawyers, uh, some people who spend a few thousand dollars. I would love to see wargaming management going to prison for fraudulent business. Because 14 games, 12 losses, I will just say, oh Dirk, learn the game. I, I play a little bit for a while and uh, 
I'm pretty good usually, so that's why I can play without many premium tanks because I usually make money. But sin since I'm banned and that just happened, I got this uh, unlucky strike, right? I have the unlucky strike of 14 games just with this tank. Don't get me wrong, I had different tanks before and I had those kind of streaks too. But here it is just obvious because it's brand new. So you can actually see what it does. <laughs> I mean, you know, and then, uh, how can I say this? All these old accounts from people who played long, long, long time, they're much smarter than I am. They actually uh, sold their accounts. If I ever figure out how to sell this account, um, I got to do it. I got rid of it and I will never ever, I mean, I never recommend Wargaming to anybody and I cannot recommend it to anybody. If you haven't played, do not play anything at all from Wargaming. In my experience, it looks all like fraud, lies and deceiving. And it's a pure money grab. And this game is not for free. Uh, they say it's for free, but it's pay to win. They 100% worked it this way. And if you get premium account and uh, shoot gold armor, you do not have that statistic. And partly it is true that you get teams of people who bought these accounts, you know, they bought it from good players, so they have a win rate of 60% and whatsoever. And then they are able to learn the game. And they have no skills. They, I mean, I could not believe what I see. Usually then I could just go out with alt and a phone, I get these stupid warnings, you know. So, and if they pull it over the top, I might just go and see a lawyer and see what I can do against them because it's fraudulent business. I, I paid for my tanks. I want to play with them. And just because I don't play like they want me to play, that is no right to say, uh, I give you a warning, you can't play anymore. If I think Alt F4 is my play style, then Alt and F4 is my play style. So how dare they could change my personal will, my personal freedom, to use my computer and the free-to-play game and my premium tanks to whatever I wanted to do. They have no right. Absolutely no right. And usually I would feel sorry for the players, but as I said, I had 14 games and two wins and the teams have been bad. I mean, it's okay because these people just bought their account. They have no idea how to play. And they go, of course, they go with a tier 9, tier 10 in the game and they go, oh, look at me, I'm going around. But they don't know how to play, so they w it will take a long time for them to learn. Because if you get uh, steamrolled, like 215, you know, you kill two tanks of the enemy and they kill 15 of yours, uh, it's a quick game. You don't get much experience. So these people will ruin many, many games. But it's also, it's, uh, they say that World of Tanks doesn't have skill matchmaking. I truly believe they do and uh, if what they use for rigging people say oh no it's RNG. Oh what the heck. If you can see when the game is rigged when you start and you have fully aimed with a tank destroyer 295 penetration and you shoot a light tank in the side or in the back and you bounce and even what's his name Cricket Finger he had a few games uh, recorded where he, he was buffered, Why, how could that bounce? Or sometimes your shots go into your nirvana and that happens for all your team players. There's maybe one who got, doesn't get uh, treated like this and so this is how they manipulate the game. They just make your shots go to nowhere. You can't hit, if you hit you can't pen and uh, there's nothing you can do. And the enemy, for example, if, uh, if, if it's rigged for them, they can shoot while they drive and they cannot miss and they will always pen. If you have the rigged the rig game with both sides, and it's not against you personally, like most people do, right? They think, oh, it's just because you, um, there are 29 other players playing, so it cannot just be for me, right? Because I, as a person, I'm totally not interested for Wargaming. Wargaming gives nothing about me. They want my best, my money. That's all they want. And if you don't give it, you get penalized, right? You get these 90% bad games. So, but if you're on the lucky side, that means you will see that too. If you are got, uh, in the, on the rigged for you side, you can shoot while you drive, you cannot miss. You will hit, you will pen and bow. And everybody bounces on you. It doesn't matter if you have a light tank and there's a tank destroyer. And it doesn't matter if just 50 meters away and you're standing still in your light tank, they bounce. They cannot penetrate you. 
because when they flip the switch and I think that is I don't know how it works but Wargaming has a strong belief in game rigging is a good thing so and that's how they do it so and because they did this to me today so 12 games I will put 12 times my premium tank in a game and when I see it's rigged I'll add F4 and out and then I just do something else like what I always do so I'm not really bothered anymore it it still annoys me that these people don't go to prison but there are some politicians which did obviously crimes and they don't go to, to prison either so I don't know um, and all the excuses you know and they give me a warning really they're not my mom you know if my mom gives me a warning I'll listen to that <laughs> but she's not here anymore so <laughs> they, they have no rights they have no right to tell me how I play my game if Alt F4 is my uh, my playstyle, or if I think that drowning my tank is the best thing I can ever do, then that's my style. That's what I want to do. And no one can tell me, no, Dirk, you cannot do this. Why not? I can. I, I look at I can do it. It works. I drive into the water and it drowns. So yes, I can do it. And they have <laughs> no right to tell me I cannot. And they give me a warning. Pardon me, what? I give them warnings, but then I get banned, right? I get banned from the forum, I don't know, for the 150th time. <laughs> and, and, oh, I'm so impressed Wargaming, I mean, honestly. So this is a little bit off topic. And uh, I will, maybe I'll show you this, how it works. So, yeah, let's take this time. That's the best example. You see, I'm almost down to zero here. I lost 350,000 credits. Uh, in these 12 games, I think, because you make lots of minus here. So, I would think we have the stronger tanks right now. Um, I don't think I have sound. Yeah, my sound is not there. So, I'll have four, and I will try again. Sometimes it's just my sound not working here. And no uh, Lin Linux and other stuff, I don't care much about it. I don't install Windows. I will still play on Linux. And so I'm not bothered that this doesn't work or that I don't, you know, that I have to restart the game because I don't expect any fairness. I still have no sound, but I will play it anyway, so it doesn't really matter. I just want to show you guys. So I'm rolling out and you will see how that all happens. So we should have the better tanks, so we should have a fair chance, um, but you will see it. So many men, men, men up with gold point. You see, uh, sure, if you put gold in and uh, you pay for it, then you, you can win. Uh, but you cannot play long because they have changed the economy that you make minus, that you, they want you to buy gold or credit so that you can afford ammunition. Uh, this game is not anymore free to play and has never meant to be. They always tried to do the money club. Not in the beginning. In the beginning there were people who were who made that game good. Now you have the elbow fighters, which are totally useless. Waste of space. Uh, totally disgusting. You see? So I got hit. Let me get the heck out of here. So I just repaired my, my uh, thing. So you know, it's only 194 damage. So they shoot. They pen, you see the gold on the bottom here? HE in gold? That means they're shooting gold. That they always pen. There is no armor anymore. Yeah. So you, you don't have to angle anymore or anything like that. Uh, in a moment, they shoot gold. You don't have to worry about it. There's nothing you can do. So when they shoot gold, they, sh they will pen you. Uh, that's 100%. There's no, no question asked. And that's the pay-to-win uh, strategy. So this guy is now waiting for me. Um, if you have new teams, they actually do that. They come out all the time at the same corner and are taken by surprise that they get shot all the time. They peek out. So I'm going there. I do not believe. You see, look, our strong tanks are already down. So what that means to me, uh, the game is already rigged. And you see, look at this. They pen. They cannot miss. They cannot not pen. 
See, their I7 has nothing. You see, look, look at this. There's even They can shoot sometimes through walls. That's what they do. So I go try to go around. I mean, uh, this is the lost game already. And sadly, we don't have sound. But uh, trust me, this game is rigged. This will end up something like uh, 3.15. If you're really good, then it's 5.15. So we lose 5. Uh, we kill 5 of them and they kill 15 of us, so that's how we're gonna lose it, right? So I did some damage here, I mean I'm shooting HE because as I said I don't, I can't afford to shoot gold. And so I tried to stop them from marching in, you know, but you see, look at this, they're all now running away, so I will be soon alone and then they steamroll me. Because there's no more teamwork. The beauty is in War Thunder, you don't have that all, you know. Bang, and I'm out. So, but let's watch that game. I trust, I'm very certain of that. That, uh, I mean, it looks like, yeah, four, two, we killed two, they killed four, right? And now you will see how they steamroll us. I mean, I did some damage, but I'm alone. I had no support, right? <coughs> I have a very long reload time. And these people now, now they don't have to come, you know, the STB-1 and the Object 907, they don't have to come anymore. Why wait until I'm dead? I had one of the best guns in the game, and I'm already gone. So now they don't have to get any more excited, because there's nothing left. And, but that game is rigged. <coughs> I would be very surprised if it's not. I mean, I hit a few times, so that is usually not a, si a sign for a rigged game. <coughs> so usual. I mean, I shoot HE, so they, I, I could not not pen, right? I've had to do some damage. But, uh, so if you have to shoot AP and you bounce, 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 then there is, it's rigged. This one doesn't look like rigged anymore. As I said, because I could hit and I could pen. So, it's maybe a bad example. That ruins my statistics. So from 15 games, I will maybe win three. But if you see the minimap, because no, all the new players, don't, they're totally surprised. Minimap, what's that? And I always say them to try to tell them uh, that's a map in mini. And if somebody writes, uh, sh shouts for help, I say help equals help. But they haven't worked that out yet. <coughs> so it's nine nine. I would be really surprised if we win this. Um, I doubt it. If you see our team, they're all one shot here. The STB one one shot. OB object four thirty U one shot. Object nine o seven one shot. Uh, the T fifty seven. Maybe he can, depending who he meets, it's a one shot too. If he's really lucky, it's a two shot. So yeah, you see here he got one. <laughs> so uh, I would be surprised if we, I don't think we win. <coughs> I think they get now steamrolled. And that looks at least smarter. So this is not really the rigged example. The rigged example is when, if I would have shot, hit, and can't pen. Or I shoot um, 50 meters away from them, fully aimed, and can't hit. Uh, don't even talk about pen, but when it's rigged, you can't hit or pen. If you hit, you will not pen, even though it's a light tank and you have 295 pen, and he has a 50 millimeter armor, so you should penetrate this almost uh, six times. You won't, because it's rigged. But this we might lose, but it doesn't look like rigged to me. So it's maybe not the best example, but it's a loss. That will be then uh, the 15th game, and I lost then 13. And we lose this. We, this game is lost. I would be really surprised. They have too many hit points left, and ours are, I don't know. And there was no teamwork, you know. But that's normal, because all these players are new players. They just bought their accounts. If I could just figure out how to sell my account without getting in trouble, I would sell it right away. I would never touch this game ever again. But for now, if I can't get my money out, uh, I keep playing because I try to add value to it because earlier or later I figure out how to sell it and then it's gone. So you see, now we have two players left. The object is, uh, if you scratch him, he's dead. And then what do we have left? Uh, T110 E3. Let's see. Oh yeah, he's <laughs> well hidden. <laughs> Look at this. I mean, one of the strongest tanks, right? A very strong tank. Now we got some <laughs> shut up the ass. 
Oh, it was one of the strongest times, and he's sitting in a, in base, you know, base camping. That and TD is usually behind, but he's supporting. He's supposed to support, right? Not that I'm that the best player, but I play for a while, and now he gets <laughs> shot in the butt again. <laughs> Look at this. Kaboom! As I said, this is game number 15. I lost officially now 13 games in this tank. 13 games. And this is not random. There's nothing on it which is called random. I, I haven't played really good either. But you have seen every shot hitting me pent my armor. And that was a big armor TD. So this just tells you this is what Wargaming does and you can't go wrong. The prediction rate, if you see it in the beginning, it's 90% safe. And I take that, if I do get out and we win the game, and I did it wrong, that's one out of 10 games. And I take that all the time, because I don't have time for it games. Usually I press Alt F4 and I get out. This is it, and then I do something else. I'll check the channel, see what I can do next. So I'm not really bothered about that. You see now I'm down to 90,000. So usually what I do is, I can show you that, guys. Look, I go in. Well, let's go with the Löwe. That is my premium tank, right? So I go in with the Löwe. Uh, sadly, we don't have sound, so but don't worry, it won't take long. Um, as soon as I see it ripped, I get out of it. I'll then have four, and then I do some different stuff. So I went just uh, cut the video off at this point and upload it and write my stuff. And when I'm done, then this game is done, and I made some credits. Because with a premium tank, you don't have to do anything. As long as you don't shoot, you don't make minus. Um, I try to play it actually. My aim is to play this game. It's not that I go here and say, you know what, I just, because then I could go out right now. And I really couldn't care less about a warning. They can't ban me from the game. Because if they would do, then I would, uh, I think, have easy rights to sue them. Because I paid for this tank. When I paid for it, I can play with it. And I can play how I like it to play. Otherwise, they tell me which hair color I should have, right? So. They don't have the right to tell me how I want to play. If I think drowning my tank is the best idea I could ever have to play my tank, that's my tactic, then this is my tactic. This is what I want to do. And they have no right to tell me otherwise. You know, it's the same like, uh, yeah, I report somebody, oh, he didn't play like I wanted it. So does he get a warning? Do I have the right to tell somebody you can... You must play like this because I want you to do this? What the heck? What? Who do they think they are? What is going on in these companies? You know, I mean, yeah, they're based in Belarus or Russia, better say. And I do know they like these weird things and they think they are still in Stalin times and they can tell me what my mom can tell me, but they're not my mom. So they cannot tell me what to do, how to do. And my mom can do this because she could do this, but she's not here anymore, she's dead. Uh, so she won't tell me anymore, they have no rights. Or what, what do you think? Look at this, there's somebody, ah! No? I tried to stand still. Nobody coming? Yeah, this shot went <laughs> fully aimed, <laughs> and it went into Nirvana. Then this guy couldn't hit either, so you see? So that is a high indicator already for a rigged game. It's a bit too early to say, but we had three people shooting and nobody could hit, right? So that is a sign. I mean, we were, we were a little bit far away, but that's already the first alarming sign to say, you know what, it seems to be one of those games. So the chances are now very high that we encounter again. Surprise, one of these rigged games. So this guy is hiding, so that is of, uh, totally good. All he does is usually they stay and send in my way so I can't use my armor. Oh. oh, look, I could hit him. So this guy's just hiding here. What, what, usually they make you go that you can't angle your armor and then you get shot and hit. See, that went into Nirvana. Did you see that? I could not hit him. I had aimed and I would like to say Look at this! <laughs> yeah, I mean it's a T28 prototype. Oh, oh, there's somebody coming! Of course, that didn't go. <coughs> See, so we will be steamrolled here. When I think I have enough, 
Yeah, see, that didn't work either. So to me, the chance to be rigged is already 60%. Not enough for me to get out. And this didn't hit either. I mean, it hit, but it couldn't do anything, of course. something too. So let's see what I can do. There's a tank coming. Yeah, and I could do nothing. And that's how it goes now. You see, look, we're already... Oh, we're winning? And I had, I think, five shots, one pen, right? So, and that's a heavy, heavy tank, right? That's German accuracy, so at least I hit. I can't pen, though, but can't have it all. See? <laughs> so if I would have loaded gold, every of my shot, every each, uh, each of my shot would have penned without hesitation. Yeah? Every shot would have penned. So you have to pay to win. Uh, if you don't do that, you see, we, we might just still lose. Because our people do not shoot gold, and they don't. Um, then there's not much we can do. They can still steamroll us. So let's see what I can do. I'll roll a little bit forward. I mean, sadly, I don't have um, sound. I don't know why. Sometimes it happens. But I take that rather than playing on wind with life. So let's see, is there anybody hiding? I might just go down here and shoot them in the butt. Oh, I got stuck. Yeah, we got them, okay. So all right, this time we steamroll. Look at this, 9-2. So this rigged is not against my person. Rigged is just the general thing these uh, Belarus people think how a game should be manipulated, no random, no fair play. They don't like that. So for, for what reason soever in their sick brain, that's what they decided and that's what they're doing. And it cost them, I would think, millions of dollars because people just sold their accounts. They say, you know what, this is it, bye bye. Because I've seen so many people leaving, yeah? And, uh, but this is just what it is. Yeah, that was your end, Artie. You shouldn't have shot me. So, but that means that's why I had a good hit rate, right? I couldn't pen anything. But it doesn't really matter because if it's rigged for us, they have no chance. There's nothing they can do. They might not have enough premium tanks on their side. I see one. So that, that could be an indicator, you know. If you have certain premium tanks, then of course, especially when they're on sale, you will get the good game. Because uh, they want to sell it. They will be, oh, I bought it. It's so great. You should have seen this. Our Steam Road, everybody. See, look at this. I hardly aimed shoot and pen. So this is when it's rigged in my favor. You know, it's not, not for me personally, because as I said, Wargaming couldn't care less about me, right? They don't even know me. They just don't care. So... Oh, this one didn't pan. Now I buy it. Bounce this shot. So he will be steamrolled now and will have no fun anymore. Oh, well, I bounced again. So you see, I'm not shooting, shooting gold, so I could not pen. You see all the gold, APCR, that's gold. Every time when it's gold, it's gold. That means they have to pay. And 15-5, that's the usual outcome. And if that would be random, the 15-5, 5-15, I would win three times a month in lottery. Every week I would win. Except one week in a month, right? So, yeah. 
And here I make again credits. That's why even, but uh, look at this, I played. If I don't play, I get 8,000. So why would I play? <laughs> look at this, I mean, just to statistics. 15 shots, 11 hits, three pen. Three pen, that is less than 25% uh, here almost. Right, that's a 25% of pen. If I would have used gold, 11 shots, even the 15 would have hit. Yeah, most likely I would have been 14 hit and 14 pen. Because if you use gold, you get a huge advantage. Because you pay and you might have to buy credit, so they want to support this. So they want you to use it so that you have to buy stuff. So this is very poorly. Usually in a good game, I have like the Lexus. I'm usually on the top, but not anymore because to that's one of these weekends where the game rigging is so strong yeah they rig the game it's so disgusting and i have no words to explain how disgusted i am about this company and their fraudulent business and i'm 100 percent sure they belong to prison and somebody should take care of this and bring them to justice for what they do to people i mean i don't care about myself much because the, my addiction to this game is gone in so far that I say, you know what, I can just switch it off. I can't even sometimes remember which tank I just put in a game. Because I'm just not bothered. I just put my premium tanks in, get some credits, get out. You know, if it's rigged, I just press Alt F4 and I'm gone. So I can only imagine because I told people, look, press Alt F4, get out of here. Then they report me and say, oh, Dirk is, is mean. He pressed Alt and F4. He did not want to just sit there and get shot. No, I have no interest and I won't. <laughs> and I won't do it ever. If I see it's rigged, I just go out. So I'm not even interested in damage farming. You know, my, my what do they call it, win eight? So my personal performance is pretty high. If you think that, uh, or consider that I go out of, I would think sometimes there are days where I go 80% of my games I get out with Alt and F4. And I'm still increasing my personal performance. That means how bad are these groups I'm playing with? They're not teams, they're groups. And you can see that in the beginning, with they're just lemming in one side, it's dreadful. I, I mean, but it's okay because they're totally new players. They just bought that account, they're totally excited. They have a win rate of 60, 65%, and, they, and then they pretend to be that guy yeah, who did it. But if you see the performance, there is none. There is no skill, there is no performance, there's no understanding of the game, which makes sense because they bought the account. So I'm not angry with those people, except that they pretend to be what they are not, right? And it's so obvious. When you see them playing, you know exactly, okay, he has never played that tank before. He has no idea what he's doing. And, uh, yeah, that wouldn't be so bad. You know, these people could learn if it wouldn't be manipulated by a world of tanks. So, but that's what they do. And that's what I get carried away. And I thought I have to share this because today was just a special day where I could show this, yeah? 15 games, 13 losses in my brand new American TD. If I would have had a Russian TD, yeah, that is a different animal. You know, the Russian tanks, they are that good that they won World War II all by themselves. That's how good the Russian equipment is, at least in that game, right? In reality, it's junk, but yeah, they think wonders what they are. And then, then they sent me a finger, do be a, be a bad, bad boy, I'll give you warning. <laughs> Keep your warning to yourself. I'm not interested. I, it's outrageous. Who, they're not my mom. Just go away. Go, I mean, what do they think? <coughs> so I don't know if you have uh, have ever encountered this, or if you have games which come from, let's say, the eastern part, where people think uh, fair play must not be, and games have to be manipulated for what reason soever. It's sick. It's totally sick. There is, I mean, people like that belong to me. They, they should be taken care of, so th they're danger to themselves and others, I think, because they have somewhere a twisted walnut as a brain. And that's all they have. So it's, if somebody thinks that they are sick, they're not human beings. Yeah, They are not right in, a, in their head, in their mind. And that is obvious to me. So they're very sick people. I mean, and they're greedy. I mean, are they greedy? Oh, it's disgusting. Just... Watch what's Oh yeah, buy this. Oh no, buy this and buy this, buy that, buy that. And unique, unique, unique. Every time unique, <laughs> and it repeats itself. Uh, it's not called unique anymore. And the best thing, and that's where fraud kicks in, right? You got something, and then they change the specs. 
or Don Duran, you buy something where, like, the, what, what was it called? M4 Revillon, the French M4. And it was famous because it had a very high bullet speed, so you could actually aim and shoot and hit. And that was unfair. The Russian tank people then went to war game and said, look, that's unfair, this guy can hit us and shoot us in pants. And war game said, this cannot be. So that changed the, the main selling point of this tank, yeah, was the fast flying bullets. So they changed it to a slow flying balloon making his way over across the field. That is fraud. If the main selling power point of a tank is a fast flying bullet, and after you bought it, they're changing it. This is fraud. They sold it you under totally different conditions and changed them right after you bought it. In my opinion, where I come from, we call this fraud. People who do this are liars and deceivers in the world where I live. And we do not have respect for them at all. And usually they should be brought to justice, right? Because fraud is a crime. You cannot do that. At least you couldn't. Now if in this prison planet it seems everything is changing. Like if you offended first, no that's not how it works. You have to be offended from a certain group, against a certain group. Then you get right. Otherwise not, you know. It's, uh, you put the money in a tail from justice and it tips, right? That's why she's blindfolded. She can't just say, oh yeah, yeah, this is heavier. I'll take it. So, I wanted to share that. Um, it was just brilliant. I had the brand new tank and I got screwed over from this corrupt, crooked, uh, game rigging company. And that makes lots of people angry. So if I write something there, how often I get there, there are 12 people or 15 joining me and say, yeah, you're right. Or so tell me something new. Of course they're crooked. Yeah. So, and if you go to the forum, because they clean it out, if, if people like me say, look guys, you rig the game, you're disgusting. Oh, I get warned, I get banned, the, the post gets removed. So it looks, oh yeah, if you write, oh, wargaming, you're so good, and oh, we love you, then, then your post stays. But even if you bring evidence, they er erase this, and you get banned, because you cannot do that. You cannot be right and criticize them, or, or dis how can I say this, open up their lies to everybody, what they do. You have these nodding dogs, which are always nodding, you know, cars moving, the dogs nodding, and then you have the paid trolls. They tell you, how, oh yeah, how good this is. Oh yeah, it's random. <laughs> so hold on. 13 games lost of 15. Uh, that is random. Oh, it's a bad strike. Oh, <laughs> what the heck? It's not a bad strike. It's a bad strike because you're on the wrong side of the rigged game. But it's also still rigged for the other side. If you, if I win, like say 15-2, I had 15-0. They didn't even, they couldn't even kill any tank, and I was on a winning side. It's still rigged. It's bad to me. I do not like rigged. I want to have a fair play game. I want equal chances. Right? But, so I get carried away here. It's, it's a little bit off topic. It's not really Linux, except that I showed you. You can easily play on Linux. I think I have no sound because um, this one kicked in here. Um, yeah, I don't know what I did. So, however, however, <laughs> it didn't record the sound. Um, not a big deal. Okay, guys, I hope this was a refreshing run and just to show you what companies do nowadays. And it was just brilliant to see that I got that warning. <laughs> oh, you're a bad boy. You didn't play. I, 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 oh, I wanted you to play. Here is a warning. <laughs> Screw your warning. <laughs> Take it home. Leave me alone. I put tanks in the game as much as I want. And if I go out with Alt F4, I go out with Alt and F4. And if I drown my tank, I had, oh, that was actually fun. Uh, in one of these bad strikes they did uh, in this game rigging, when, when I'm like now on the other side, I just run into the water and then there were other people doing that too. So we drowned sometimes three, four tanks at once. <laughs> so, and then the others got frustrated and went to the same thing, you know. We had Artie killing themselves shooting against the wall, so because it splashes, right, it kills them. And, you know, drowning if you can. And Jumping from hills doesn't work anymore. I jumped off a bridge, but the, they made it not that you can't kill your tank anymore like that. So you have to either drown it, and if you can't drown it, then just press Alt and F4 and do something else, get a hot chocolate or a coffee, get a biscuit. And when you come back, the game is over. It goes quick. These red games are very fast. So 
it's not that you waste much time. Just do something else, check it out, don't get annoyed, it's not worth it. That's maybe part of what they want, you know, with all the evil creatures on Earth, which do not belong here. You might just have that stuff that they say, oh yeah, make people angry and stuff like that, you know, and ranting, and it works. There are people swearing at other people. It's like road rage. Why would the heck put your road rage? Just because a guy or girl is driving different than you do, wait your turn. If, if it's too slow, wait until you can overtake and overtake. Oh, most of the time you have overtake lanes or you have uh, an opportunity to overtake or it's two lanes. Let people be, right? So, yeah, and uh, Wargaming, if you ever see that video, <laughs> shuffle your your warnings up your, your, you know what I mean. Shuffle it up there. <laughs> Leave me alone. I don't care about your warnings. And if you dare to block my account, you pay. I guarantee this. That would be the point. Because in that moment, I can go to a lawyer and say, look, this is what they did. This is what I did. And then my lawyer can take action, right? That would be the right thing to do. And if that ever happens, I, I cannot wait. Or even better, you know, I mean, my hacker times are over, but that wouldn't mean I don't have contacts anymore. So if I would get really angry, I might just contact some people and say, you know what, there are some servers, they're running, but they shouldn't. Or there's a forum which shouldn't be anymore. You know what I mean? You can take these things out. That's not a big deal. It's a big deal for them. Um, but I would never do such thing, right? <laughs> so, yeah, they play a risky game, uh, these people from Wargaming. They think they have control and power. No, you don't actually Wargaming. You are at the, at the mercy of lots of people because they can take your game down just like that and you won't have the game running for quite some time. Every time you do it up, it gets taken down. And uh, that is not rocket science. It's not that big. It's not a uh, NASA server. And they get hacked too, right? So, if I would be wargaming, I would actually stop game rigging. But I mean, that would mean you have a brain and they just don't. So at least there's no evidence of it. That makes me think they have no brain. Yeah, you see, I'm still annoyed. So I, I cut that video off. I put some premium tanks in a game and get my biscuit and my hot chocolate because it's quarter past ten and it's a good time to put a premium tank in a game and get a hot chocolate, right? When I come back, game is over and I can start over again and drink my hot chocolate and have a biscuit. That's what I'm going to do. So I hope you like that video. I might just lose another few uh, subscribers. That's fine by me. I made a video to new subscribers say, look, you don't like it. You don't have to stay. Don't subscribe. Don't I get loud, I run, <coughs> I call a shuffle, a shuffle, and I think that video was evident enough. Um, this is it. This is just the truth, and you could see it. If you don't like it, I don't like it either. But that's how it is, and somebody has to call it out, and I do. And that's what I do, and I won't change. This is it. Okay, guys, uh, stay tuned. I still have to work on the MX-17 on a different USB stick. I might just do that tomorrow. Uh, my wife did not come. I'm guilty of uh, um, having, what did I do, um, a weather statement. So we have a winter storm moving in and I can't pick up my wife because it's too risky. I can't get her back. So that's my fault. I am guilty of that. So I'm used to the, you know, my wife issues warnings, which I don't care then about either because they're just not real. It's, it's the same thing like wargaming. You know what I mean? Oh, what, what can I do? And Wargaming, you can't tell me how I play my game. I play it that way and that's how I like it. You don't like it, buy my, uh, yeah, refund my premium tanks and we're all good. Until then, I'll play the game I, how I want it. And oh, and I, I even if you get out with uh, the normal exit, they, they say, oh, you deserted. Oh no, you make me feel bad. <laughs> I deserted, I think, five or six times in a row. Nothing happens because they legally they cannot. If they would ban you from the game, they are actually cutting your personal rights. They try to tell you how to play a game. Nobody has that right, and they know that. Because if they do that, that's the moment it's when you can storm against them. <coughs> In a moment, they make a mistake like that, but they have, might have a, some good lawyers which say, you know what, you can issue warnings. That makes people feel people bad. And it doesn't make me feel anything. <laughs> it makes me laugh. Sometimes I have to dry my tears from laughing. <laughs> but... That's just how it is. Then that's me. And I must say it took me some time to get there because before, uh, as I said, I, I kind of built up the game too because you give recommendations that do it and it works and it's great. And, and then these big elbow fighters with no skills and performance or brain making their way up and ruin everything, then you, of course you get angry. 
But that only that angry worked only for a certain time, and then when I rage quit the fir ti first time, I even had premium account, and I thought I could nothing about it. It's not it's not worth my time. So I decided not to play. I think for a year and one and a half. And I checked in, and now every now and then I play. Like now I need credit, so every now and then I just throw premium tank in and go watch TV, go back uh, in between maybe and put another tank in. And that's how I do my credits. And sometimes all of a sudden you have a few million, right? And that's fine by me. So if Wargame doesn't like it, I mean, Wargame, you're free to refund my premium tanks. And I close that account, I promise. And I will never touch it again. And I promise that too. Refund my premium tanks world of uh, premium tanks world of time uh, wargaming, and this is it. We will never see us again. That would be very nice, but they're not because they rather cut their own arm off than giving you a penny, and that just shows how greedy they are. And that is so disgusting. The money grab. I mean, that disgusted so many people. But they're more, more. How can I say this more? more firm than I am. They just sold their account off they go. If I figure a way out how to sell my account, sell my account, I would be so happy. I would be great. And I will figure it out. And then off it goes. And then this is it. So, a comparison. If you play War Thunder, War Thunder is absolutely non-toxic. At least the realistic air battles, right? So if you play a realistic air battles, uh, the worst I have ever written was thank you for nothing, peeps. That was it. And usually there's team play and somebody loses, it's not a problem. Somebody says, oh, sorry, I screwed it up. And who cares? Uh, it's just not, not toxic. It only becomes toxic uh, when a game is unfair, manipulated. That makes people angry. And then they rage. And we have lots of people who are not that smart and they don't see that. They can't see that 13 games in a row 315, 215, 515, 115, that that is not random. They cannot see that. And then they leash out on their teammates, right? It's not the teammates fault. If they shoot, hit and or can't hit, can't pen, there's nothing they can do. It's manipulated from the server side. So there's nothing you can do. So if somebody from World of Tanks, uh, playing World of Tanks, if you run against your teammates, don't. And if they're like me and just going out, drowning their tank and doing stuff, they're frustrated. Give them some slack. They had maybe out of 15 games, 13 losses. And they're not nobody's fool. So they say, you know, you fool me, I fool your game. This is it. And where's the difference? I can't see the difference. I only see the difference that the frustrated player react while the wargaming acted. So if somebody hits you and you punch them back, that's a reaction, not an action. The action has been taken by Wargaming. So they have no right, actually, to complain. You, Wargaming cannot complain. They are legally, uh, by no means, have they the right to tell players how to play the game. They can give recommendation, but that's it. They cannot guide my hand. They are, don't you dare touch my hand, Wargaming. Right? So... And if they give me, oh yeah, it makes me feel bad. <gasps> Wargaming, I lost a second of sleep. <laughs> I'm not losing anything. Maybe for laughing when I wake up. I have to dry my tears from laughing. Who do they think they are? Well, in what world do we live nowadays? That a corrupted, ma ma game manipulating company full of greedy incompetence tells me how I got to play a game? Pardon me, what? I, uh, uh, did they get powdered with a hammer? You know what I mean? I mean did somebody put makeup with a sledgehammer on their face or what? Because it must be not right in the head. I mean, this run goes on already for three minutes. I could endless go on because I'm just speechless of what people think they are. What do they really think they are? Do they, what? what? <laughs> you know what I mean? I'm, I'm, I cannot fasten that creatures like this think that they can tell humans what to do and what not to do. <laughs> They're not lawmakers. Yeah, they can make a hammer there, and it looks like a like a judge or like a courtroom. Oh, yeah, so well done, Wargaming. You still do not have the right to tell me what I want to do. And if you live in a country where team killing is a skill, that's okay for you. In the country where I live, we call it cowardness. We call it stupid. 
And how can I say this? It's honorless, totally honorless where I live. So in your country, this seems to be okay. And you might have to think, you can tell people how to play the game. You cannot walk in. This is it now. I have to cut this off because I need a hot chocolate and a biscuit. I have to put a premium tank in the game to make credits. And I think I'm going, going to watch uh, a, a video. And then every few minutes I just go down and put the tank in the game, right? That's how I got to do it. Sorry for the guys. But I mean, only if I see it's rigged. You see, I don't want to screw up people's game. But when it's rigged, usually like that hard, it doesn't really matter if you play or not. And I figured that out because uh, when wargaming, uh, I mean, they were terrible. That game crashed all, all, all of the time. And I had, let's say, <coughs> I couldn't finish 10 games at least in a row because the game always crashed. And when I was supposed to win, I won. I won them 10 of these games. Like now I lost uh, 13 out of 15. And I figured out, you know, it doesn't really matter if I play or not. Because then if they manipulate the game, they cannot, if, if it's in our my team's favor, they cannot hit or pan. You can just drive and shoot them because they have nothing to defend themselves. They're shooting blanks, right, in that game. That is when it's manipulated. If it's for you manipulated, you can just drive and shoot. You can't can't miss. You always pen. Doesn't matter what. If it's against your team, win, then there's nothing you can do. And the best thing is, in my opinion, it's totally cool to drown a tank. It's so funny, yeah. And then if that do if four or five doing this, this is so cool. <laughs> in no time, the game is over. You know, <laughs> no fun for everybody except if you drown your tank. That's actually fun. Uh, jumping off bridges that was fun too, or cliffs. But it doesn't work anymore. So drowning, yeah, drowning was good. With an, with an arty, you can still kill yourself if you go close to a rock and shoot. So that kills yourself too. If you're lucky, you burn yourself. <laughs> so it's at least some fireworks, right? So these things are cool. And yeah, because as I said, in the earlier days, I was frustrated and angry. But now it's just pure fun to me. Um, and I couldn't care less. I mean, get a warning, pardon me, what? I don't know, but that I don't want to be on the circle here ever, ever again. <laughs> so this is it, guys. I wonder if you like that video and how many subscribers I lose. Um, if somebody, oh, Dirk, you're a bad player, blah blah blah. No, I'm not. I'm actually pretty good. Usually, I'm on the top three, and I do tons of damage. Uh, sometimes I do 4.5 thousand damage, and I have at least three times as, as more than the next to me. But it doesn't help me. You know, if you have a team of peeps, then there's nothing you can do. They're not blaming them. They just bought the accounts and never played, or they have no experience. So, and of course, they can't perform. How? Oh, if they don't have experience. But that's what it is. And that happened because uh, Wargaming got rid of the good players. Because they said, I'm not your fool, you know, I'm just selling it. They're smarter than I am. They know how to sell it. As soon as I figured out, that game is gone and will never be put on. And I warn everybody, I warn my colleagues, I said, do not play anything from Wargaming. It's toxic, it's manipulated, it's uh, crooked, it's money grab, it's disgusting leadership there. Do not get tempted, do not play it. It's not for free, and it's not. So, this is it, guys. Uh, have a good night. <laughs> and uh, the next video is back to Linux. Okay, guys, all FreeBSD. Okay, guys, this is it. Have a good night. Bye-bye.